Hey guys, welcome to the weekend two of Food Hall Friday. So this week we actually went to the Anaheim Packing House. So we got the number nine, which I think is tomatoes and mozzarella. I think. So the grilled cheese was like a little and the cheese was good, but the tomato is just like clumped together. A little disappointing there. But the grilled cheese by itself, pretty good. So we got the chicken tikka masala fries, which is a good fusion between Indian food and Canadian poutine. I think the tikka masala sauce is a good substitute for the gravy, and if you like Indian food, you've got to try it. Thank you. Okay, so I got the tonkatsu ramen, and it's really smoky. The flavor is very um, smoky at first taste, but the soup is kind of thick, and then it's not like a thick a flavor. It's just the texture is thick. Um, there's no MSG, so that's good. Uh, the egg is kind of made well, but the yolk is cold, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then the meat is kind of tough, so I don't really like that as much, but overall the ramen is your better authentic ramen than the American fusion ramen. So would I come here again? Maybe if I'm in the area and craving ramen, but I wouldn't drive here for it. So at Mini Monster, we got the raspberry matcha milk tea. Yeah, it is the Monster Cloud, yeah. which comes with a hand-spun cotton candy on the top. Very gimmicky, so... Mm -hmm. And it doesn't taste like raspberry at all. The best part was the cotton candy. <laughs> it's an it's okay tea, but I mean... I think the matcha and the raspberry doesn't mix well together. Yeah, they're um, buying into the matcha hype right now. Get another tea. So we only went to like four places and one of those places was a tea place. I feel like the types of food that are offered at the packing district are a lot of fried foods or a lot of complete meals so then it's not really an ideal place for hopping from one place to the next. But the packing district has a lot of good restaurants or a lot of good food items to offer. It's very heavy and the portions are pretty big and it's a little bit more pricey. You mentioned um, like maybe you can just buy a voucher. Yeah, so then my idea was that maybe there could be like a customer service desk or something, right? And you just buy a voucher and then you just bring your voucher to every single vendor and then they'll give you like a signature small bite sort of thing. I think that would be really nice instead of ordering every item from the menu because it does get costly. So overall, I think um, it's a good place to just, you know, chill and, uh, you know, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely a good food hall to go to. It's just that you won't be able to try a lot of things. Yeah. Just maybe one dessert place and then one place to get your food. Maybe if you're lucky, you get some tea. Yeah, so then for me, I think that it's like, uh, it's a basic spread of things. So then if you're looking to try like innovative things, you might not find it there. Um, there's a lot of good variety of food, but it's just basic stuff. Right, yeah, you have your typical, Ramen, pho, sandwiches, sandwiches, tea, crab. yeah, crepes. I call it crepe because that's how you say it in French. We kind of failed for this food haul Friday only because we only got food for food items, but it's just too much for us to handle to yeah. eat. Only because that's how the pack ninja shirt is. But then next time we're gonna try and do something different. Well, we're just gonna like strategize what we're getting. Yeah. Well, until next time, 